Hey guys, it's me Sahar. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a 8 to 24 hour readathon. So Hannah over at Hannah's Recent Reads and Christina over at Christina's Chapters decided that they were going to do just their own little 24 hour readathon featuring mostly fantasy romance and they asked if anyone else wanted to tag along and I said yes. So I think it's just me them and Rachel from Raven Haired Reader and I'm really excited. I feel like I usually just do 24 hour readathons by myself so it's gonna be fun to have a little bit of company but it's pretty early in the morning which is why I'm talking fairly quietly. Um, I have my cup of coffee and I'm ready to get some reading done so it's currently 9 a.m and I was originally planning on starting this at 8 30 and I woke up and I started to listen to my audiobook while I was getting ready and making my coffee and everything and I ended up finishing it and it's a fantasy romance so I decided that I was just going to pretend like this started at 8 and count that book as my first book read. So hello, I've already finished a book. <laughs> I read A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. Um, I gave this five stars. It was absolutely fantastic. The writing blew me away. It is so beautifully written without being like over the top lyrical. And in this, we're following one of Dracula's brides as she's writing him a letter and we're learning a lot about how they met their relationship and everyone else in their lives and it, it didn't seem like something that I would love but I had just heard such great things. I know Rachel loved it. I know Cassidy really really loved it as well and so I was really curious to see exactly what this book was about and it was just it was such good commentary on toxic relationships and not being able to see some signs when you're in it and it touched that topic really well in my opinion. I think it was really well written and I just I loved it. I loved every second of it. I started the audiobook yesterday and finished it obviously this morning so it did not take me long at all. Um, it's about a six hour audiobook so it's not too long in itself but the fact that I was able to just finish it in less than 24 hours is crazy to me because I usually take a little bit more time with audiobooks but this one was just so good. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a fantasy romance, if you're looking for a an interesting take on a classic, I highly highly recommend this one and it, it was just it was so much better than I thought it was going to be so I'm really really happy that I read that. And then as for the rest of my reading plans, I know for sure I have one book that I need to finish and that is A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. I've been reading this this entire week and I think it's about time that I finish it. I only have 200 pages left um, which is basically like half this book but I am really enjoying it. I'm not loving it as much as I loved a Torch Against the Night and A Number in the Ashes. So this one is the third in the series. Okay, if the angle changed at all, my card was full, so I had to switch that out real quick. But um, as I was saying, this is a military fantasy and also a fantasy romance, which is going to be great for Realmathon. It's also a Cassidy fave, so I'm hoping to rack up a bunch of points with this one. I absolutely love the first one. I love the second one even more, and although this one is letting me down, I think it's going to be a really good setup for the fourth and final book, which I do own. So I really, really want to finish this. And then the last reading plan I have is just anything on my Kindle. So <laughs> KU has a bunch of fantasy romance and I have a ton downloaded on here. So I'm hoping to just kind of get through all of those. I think we're going to start with The Traitor Queen by Daniel L. Jensen. I just finished The Bridge Kingdom last weekend and I loved it. It was so good and I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I'm really, really excited to um, finish out the duology. So that's probably what I'm going to start with and then we'll see kind of what I'm in the mood for next. Um, like I said, I started this technically at 8 a.m. today, so we will go until 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys later.
Okay, it is now 11.56 a.m. and I still haven't finished another book yet, but I only have 50 pages left of A Reaper at the Gates. I am so, so excited at how quickly I have managed to read this. I was reading this so slowly all throughout Weekend of Peace Talks when I initially picked it up and this past week and I just, I really didn't know if this was going to actually get read in this 24 hour period because of that but i am almost done i am in the tail end of this book and i'm just i'm so excited to be done with it i am enjoying it a lot more now but i still think this is my least favorite in the series i just read the birth scene if you know what i'm talking about and i loved that part i don't know why it just really stuck with me and i really really enjoyed that scene and i just can't wait to see how this one wraps up i think it's a solid setup for the final installment so i'm excited to see how everything kind of wraps up and comes together in that one but this does feel like a lot of a setup book rather than anything else so i'm kind of sitting at like a three 3.5 stars for this one because i am really enjoying it i just think it is the weak link in the series for me so yeah but i'm i'm excited to finish it but i am starving right now so i think i'm going to heat up some leftovers i have some pizza from last night so i'm I'm probably gonna eat that and maybe just like chill for 20 minutes because my my brain's a little tired i just sat on this couch and read for the last three hours so yeah it, I, I need a break so i'm gonna eat and we'll get back to reading and hopefully finish this Okay, I have just finished A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, and I think I am going to stick with a 3.5 rating for this one. I really did enjoy my time reading it. While I don't mind having a setup book, I feel like it was 450 pages of setup, and it dragged for me at some points, but I really did enjoy the ending. I thought that the little, not cliffhanger, but like kind of reveal and mysterious ending that this had is intriguing me more to pick up the fourth and final book a lot sooner so i will probably get to a sky beyond the storm um sometime this month but i think i'm going to start reading on my kindle we're going to start with court of dragons by frost k um i also have been convinced both just by myself and also by rachel and hannah to read zodiac academy <sighs> I think I'm gonna make a whole like reading vlog for that because I think it would be very entertaining to get my reactions because it's a bully fantasy romance and I don't like bully romances, but I still wanna read it and we might end up hate reading it, but who knows? But that, I just wanted to throw that in there that you have that vlog to look forward to because I will be reading it this month at some point, but I don't wanna read it in this 24 hour readathon because it's like 400 pages and I wanna get through some quicker books. So we're gonna start with Court of Dragons. I have no idea what this is about. I just saw that we're dragons and that it was fantasy romance and I just, downloaded it from Kindle Unlimited. So here we are. So I'm 
21% of the way through Court of Dragons by Frost K. I'm on page 57, so it's a fairly short book. I think it's about 302 pages on my Kindle, so I was already a little weary going into it because that short of a book, I don't know how well the characters are going to be fleshed out. Like, I don't know how well the world is going to be introduced because it's a fantasy romance and I still need some kind of world building. I need to understand the magic system if there is one. I need to understand if there are different creatures, what the people are like, and everything like that before we dive in to the romance. And that is just not what I'm getting from this book. Like I said, I'm on page 57 and we've already had a pretty significant character, at least from what it seems, um, die. And I just don't understand how we're supposed to care about their death because... We literally just started the book like I'm 50 pages in and someone dies and it's supposed to be this really sad dramatic scene and I just don't get it okay my battery died so I switched it out but I again I just don't understand how we're supposed to care about this character's death like I just don't get it there's like absolutely no world building and the only world building that we've really gotten has been like our main character's inner monologue which really reminds me of From Blood and Ash which I didn't love I didn't hate the book but it just it's not a series that I'm going to continue reading and a lot of it was because of the world building and how it was done which was a lot of poppy's inner monologue and this book is giving me similar vibes to that i don't know it's not it's not gripping me as i had hoped it would i mean the title and the cover are pretty cool so i'm not that that's as much about a book but i had like pretty decent expectations going into it um but so far it's letting me down but we'll see we'll see how i feel um, I'm currently watching Christina and Hannah's reading sprints that they're doing for their Sarah J. Mass along. And I'm obviously not reading the Throne of Glass books right now, but I wanted to support them and also get some reading done. So I'm going to keep doing that and hopefully finish this book in the next few hours. <laughs> Okay, hello. It is now 8 18 p.m. and I have switched into some comfy clothes, a grout fit as always, and I wanted to give you guys an update because I I, I don't know why I hold up my Kindle as if you can see the cover. I finished Court of Dragons by Frost K and I ended up giving this two stars. I didn't really end up checking in after my last update where I wasn't really feeling the book because I ended up actually hopping on sprints with Cassidy and Maria and that was really fun and right now I'm actually doing some private sprints with basically everyone who's doing our little 24-hour readathon. Um, so Hannah, Rachel, and Christina, and then Cami also joined because she wanted to do the 24-hour readathon. So I'm having a ton of fun just sitting here reading with them. It's great. I keep looking here because my laptop's here and that's, they're on the screen. But yeah, so I, I just had a crazy busy but like productive in terms of reading day and I didn't get to update earlier. But yeah, like I said, I finished Court of Dragons. This book had so much potential. I will say that. I actually really did enjoy the plot. Um, basically this book, which I took a while to figure out, but this one follows the story of our main character, um, Ren, and she is basically about to be married to her best friend and person that she's in love with obviously um and on their wedding day like during the ceremony their kingdom gets attacked and basically everyone that she knows and loves dies and so she's on this kind of revenge plot to avenge the death of her family and friends and the plot kind of picks up from there she basically has to at some point get married off to some royalty that she doesn't want to and it's kind of that enemies to lovers situation but I will say that this book had barely any romance in it like I picked it up thinking it was going to be kind of like The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller but done better and that just wasn't the case there was just no romance I just didn't understand 
like how the characters were supposed to go from enemies to lovers they haven't hit the lovers part yet and that's another thing that really bothered me is that this book felt like so much of a setup just for the rest of the series and I don't like when books do that I can get through like half of the book being a setup and then something actually happening but this book just really felt like it was setting up for something else and I don't want to waste my time reading a book even if it is like less than 300 pages that doesn't give me a lot of substance and is just set up because it's just not worth my time to me so I, I just don't like that that's just a personal thing this book really felt like it was the bare bones or the skeleton of a book and it felt like the outline or the rough draft there wasn't a lot of character development nothing was really fleshed out and so many of the scenes were so fast-paced that I couldn't actually appreciate what was going on and I couldn't appreciate the story and just there were just so many plot points that our author tried to squish into one 291 page book and it just didn't work and it it really makes me sad to say that because I like I said I did enjoy the plot like the overarching plot I thought it was going to be really fun and there were parts that I really enjoyed but I just feel like this needed a lot more editing and it just needed a lot more substance to it and I just didn't get that from this book so two stars from me unfortunately but that is my third book completed for this 24-hour readathon so like I said it is currently about 8 almost 8 30 now and I still have 12 hours of this readathon and I've already completed three books now granted I have to sleep at some point in those 12 hours but for being just halfway done with this readathon I've completed a lot and I'm actually really really happy with that so yeah but I think I'm going to pick up a deal with the elf king because that one just really really intrigues me and I've been wanting to read it for a very long time so I think I'm gonna pick it up We'll see how it goes. If it's not gripping my attention, then um, we can switch to something else. But I just got it from KU and I'm excited. to talk quietly because it's 1 56 in the morning i don't know how i'm awake right now i'm a little bit delusional so this clip should be interesting to rewatch and edit but i want to say that i am 50 percent of the way through a deal with the elf king and i'm liking it but it's not like blowing me away or anything like i'll still finish it i think it'll be probably like a three star read and I'll kind of just move on with my life like it's not a book I think that I will really think about in the future or remember I just feel like a lot of things are falling flat for me and not even in the sense of I just am completely not liking it but I just feel like the way everything's written like the world the characters the dialogue everything it all has potential for it to get a five stars from me and it's just it just keeps missing that mark and because of that is why i feel like i'm sitting at three stars right now i don't know i just i want to like this book so bad i've been wanting to read this for just forever and so i'm really sad that i'm a little like iffy about it but i don't know i still have half of the book left and i think i'm gonna shower because i just hopped off the private sprint that we were doing and i still want to stay up and i want to finish this book i'm on page 154 of 318 so i'm 48 percent of the way through i think i can do it i think i can finish this book tonight we'll see good morning it it's it's not morning it's 3 30 p.m the next day and i'm here to end off this vlog because i obviously didn't update you guys at all last night i ended up actually falling asleep at about 2 30 a.m and so i obviously did not finish uh, a deal with the elf king and i got to about page 170 before i went to sleep at least that was the page that I was on when i last checked um i have read a little bit more today i'm on page 211 but um 
I don't really have anything else to say aside from what I've already talked about. It has gotten a little bit better. I just feel like there's a lot of exploring our main character's magic that I'm not quite interested in and I'm not really invested in and I feel like I'm not getting the enemies to lovers vibes as much as I had hoped. They definitely have started to have an attraction for each other and I like the tension when those scenes are in play but the rest of the story is falling a little flat for me. I do really like the world and kind of the concept as to why this human queen needs to be taken um, by the elf king um, every generation and I like that it has a backstory because it feels like there's actually high stakes um, which is something that I found lacks quite a bit for me um, when it comes to the enemies to lovers trope in fantasy romance is we have our main character trying to for example like in the shadows between us i really felt like she wanted a lot of power and she wanted to rule the kingdoms but we didn't really get a glimpse of what the kingdoms were and what she was getting if she actually gained that power and also with a lot of books where our main character's life is in danger or something goes wrong we don't really see what the repercussions would be if said event happen or said thing went wrong and so it just doesn't feel like it really matters if like whatever event happens i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but i i usually have a lot of issues with those two main things when i read fantasy romance which doesn't mean i don't love the genre it is definitely still my favorite genre but that is something that i feel like it's a pattern with a lot of fantasy romance at least the ones that i've read and what i've come across but this one I really feel like plays out um, well in that regard. Like it really gives you an explanation and a good grasp of the world and how things are the way they are now and why this human queen needs to be taken and exactly what being a human queen entails. I, I just really, really like how Elise Kova has explained everything and it doesn't feel info dumpy or anything at all. So I am really liking those elements of the story. Um, and then there are obviously some issues that I still have, like I mentioned earlier. So again, I am kind of sitting at like a three stars right now. It all just kind of depends on how the story plays out. I still have about 100 pages left. So if those 100 pages like blow my mind, I might give it like a 3.5, but I, I feel like it's going to be a three stars. So, but with that, that is all for my 24 hour readathon. I read a lot more than I thought I would. I finished three books, very successful 24 hour readathon. I'm going to put my total page count here because I don't feel like doing the math and I want editing Sahar to do a lot more work than she needs to because I'm lazy right now, but th this is how many pages I read. Um, and I feel like it's quite a bit more than I usually read in a 24 hour period, like when I've done these 24 hour readathons before. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. And yeah, um, that is going to be all for today's video. If you made it to the end, leave me a sleeping guy emoji, like with the Z's, you know? <laughs> um, because. I'm sleep deprived as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.